Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I can make the Lele shirt. So as right now, you see I'm downloading the image from my files I had already saved from Google. This is not my image. It's a file I got off Google. I do not own copyrights to this image. So I'm just sizing it up. I'm freelancing. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just freelancing as I go. So right now, if I can trace it, just to eliminate the white background off of it, I just want her full body. I don't need the rest. I may keep some of the stars later. I'll try to recreate the image. But right now, I just want her body. So, and now you see me just tracing, just highlighting her all yellow. And so I will detach it from the background and cut it out. See? And I will save some of the stars as I mentioned. Oh, I need the hashtag. I could have just typed it in, but sometimes I make life more difficult for myself. Excuse my voice, I have a cold, guys. I'm just choosing any color because I just hate those red lines. So right now I'm just going to cut all these stars out, trash them. Oh, you see me tracing? I could have got that off the internet too. It's music note lines, but I just seem to make life more difficult for myself now that I thought of it afterwards because it was really hectic for me to trace those lines and cut out what I don't need. But it really turned out pretty though. I don't know why I duplicated it. So right now I'm just erasing all the stuff that I don't need. As you can see me right there. And I'm about to trace this music note. Again, I could have got it offline. But hey, this was in the spare of the moment. I decided to make these shirts at last minute. My girls were on punishment. But, you know me, I always give in. And I decided to let them go. So I made these shirts at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I made a total of six shirts, I believe. Oh, it's hectic. I had a headache, guys. So right now, once... I'm just erasing this since I already have the trace. See, I got tired right there. I just said, we're going to cut it out. That's going to be a lot to be racing to do. So I have to tone this up too. Take off some parts that I don't need. Again, sorry that I sound like this, guys. I have a real bad cold. Oh, it's almost over. And this is my first time doing voiceovers, too. So, bear with me. If I'm taking too long to say something, I get a hang of everything. And I'm just duplicating the stars and the number sign, hashtag as we all call it. Hashtag. Like.
So I'm going to trim this up. Because it looks a hot mess. Here I messed up. I think. It turned out really great. Okay. So I'm sending it to the silhouette so it can be cut. I didn't record that part because I was in a rush, guys. And I didn't record myself weeding out the vinyl. But if you want, I could do a video to show you guys how I did that process. Just comment down below and let me know if you would like to see that. Because each vinyl is different. So this vinyl that I use is really tough. I have to really concentrate on weeding it out. But right now I'm going to work on the words I'm going to put on the shirt. Her name is Lele. I'm sure you guys know of her. I'm just choosing any color because again, I hate the red line. So I believe this is the font that I chose because I really like it. That's one of the shirts I did, y'all. That's my shirt. Mine's was different from theirs. I don't know what I was looking for, but... <sighs> I'm just adding my own touches to the image. Right now I'm just gonna see how everything looks. Just try to set it up so I can see how I'm gonna put it on the shirt.
right, so I'm still trying to figure out how I want everything to put on the shirt. Just get an idea in my head. I'm winging it as I go on. Again, these are not the colors that I've been using. Some of them are on some of the shirts, but I just chose any color. To get the red off the screen. The shirt was on before. So I like this so far. Now I'm going to send the words that's going to be on the shirt to my silhouette so we can cut it out. I didn't have a video of that because I was rushing. But I will show you guys later on in another video how I um, weeded out everything. Lord, I was getting sidetracked. I was thinking to do a lot of things. I had to do a lot of things. I will do better, y'all. I'm gonna do better. So, I'm just making sure everything is close together because I don't want to waste no vinyl. This stuff is expensive as well. Every piece of vinyl counts in my nature. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. When I first started doing this, I used to waste a lot of money. Till I came to my senses, like, what are you doing? So yeah, I'm about to send this to get cut. Everything looks great. So everything lined up. Make sure I have to keep remember to switch it because if you guys can see, I had it on glitter. I was cutting glitter vinyl too, glitter and matte. So I was beginning to switch it. All right, here I'm going to show you guys how I printed the sublimation picture of her. I was kind of scared at first because I didn't think that it was going to turn out turn out right. And I didn't want to waste any more ink. I think this is my third attempt. Well, the other two came out right too, but those were my test shirts that I was making. Print test shirts before I actually made the shirts so I can see if it came out right. Because as we all know that we have to sublimate on 100% polyester. But I use the 50-50 polyester and cotton blend and instead of me pressing on 400 I pressed on 350 and I just put 190 seconds I pressed for 190 seconds so that did well that turned out well because I pressed on 400 at first and it burnt my chest shirt well not the shirt but it just showed like a little brownish color and I didn't like it so right here, I am going to press the shirt to get the wrinkles out. And as you see, I put a piece of paper in the middle of the shirt because the ink will bleed through. It will bleed through if you don't. And you don't want that. So make sure you insert a piece of paper. It could just be a plain piece of paper. A plain piece of paper. It doesn't have to be. But it turned out great. I love it. What you guys think? Again, this is 50 50 blend. Polyester cotton blended. I love the turnout. I was kind of scared because watching a whole lot of videos, some people had an epic fail. But right now, I'm just going to start pressing the word. So everything's starting to look great so far. I didn't want to bother you guys by recording every little bit that I did. So I'm just going to show you guys bits and pieces as I put them together. And plus I was trying to rush to get the shirts done. So I hope you guys like it so far. Looks so good.
So I'm almost finished with this shirt. I just have to press her name, add a couple more stars to it. And then this shirt will be complete. This is my oldest daughter's shirt. So when you peeling this vinyl, you have to be very careful. And be sure not to overpress it. You see how it look now, it's all shiny and bubbly. That's the perfect press. If you overpress this vinyl, I've done it before, believe me. It would be all smashed in with little bubble flakes in it everywhere. And you could just tell that it's overpressed. Like, this is the perfect press. I really did good on that. Believe me, practice does make perfect. I've screwed up a lot. And I don't know about the other stuff on my stuff. Just for practice. I'll be doing shirts for me just to get some practice in. But I've gotten better. But this is the second shirt. Different colors. Same design. Just different colors. Switching it up. Because they all have their own color they wanted. So I really love the green green glitter vinyl. This one has purple glitter vinyl. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's really cute. It has the purple. This is my fat mama shirt. My baby girl. Yeah, they were so excited about the concert. See right here, this is the last minute print. I had to do my shirt and then someone else, my baby cousin, wanted a shirt made. So within the last 30 minutes before concert, of course, here we go rushing to get a shirt made. I didn't get a chance to show you guys how I cut this out or cropped it out inside a silhouette because I was rushing and I forgot to press record on the screen. So, but hopefully you guys got a glimpse of how I did it when I did the first image. It's pretty the same thing, pretty much the same thing, same technique. But this image took a lot more effort. Oh, that was a headache. But I got it done. Yep, so just waiting. I also did a test print on this before I pressed it on our shirts as well. I think this would look better on a black shirt, but it turned out great. It turned out good. She loved her shirt. This is my baby cousin shirt. All of my girls shirt or the same image. And this image was my shirt and my baby cousin shirt. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be putting up more videos shortly. Also, like my daughter's channel with two tank girls, you can see the full Lele concert and their experience during that time. So, be sure to hit that thumbs up and hit that bell for more videos. Thank you. Bye.